So in graphing absolute value, the main important thing you guys need to understand is what the absolute value graph looks like. right? And we've talked about this. This was in our first unit. Absolute value graph was basically what we called that V graph. And I'm not going to create a table because we already did that in our notes. But that is what the absolute value does. right? So that's what the graph looks like. So we know the graph is going to look like a V because it's absolute value. right? Now the next thing we need to do is look at what is the transformations. So to understand the transformations, we needed to understand or remember y equals a times absolute value of x minus h plus k. Well, remember, a either compressed or stretched the graph. right? h shifted the graph, graph left to right, and k shifts the graph up or down. So the first thing we notice is, remember the vertex. The vertex is the lowest point here on this graph. That was the point hk. So we can see the minus 3. What is that doing to the graph? That is now shifting the graph down 3. Then plus 1 is shifting the graph to the left 1. And then the other important thing that I didn't say, but it's important, is it's negative. Yes? Yes? It's x minus h. x plus 1 is the same thing as x minus negative 1. So what's the value of h? When it's x and minus h is the formula, x minus negative 1. What's the value of h? h is equal to negative 1. So you go left. Just always think it's always the opposite inside the function. Okay, It's always the opposite. So that's why we're going to the left. This tells you to do what, though? Reflect down. Instead of the graph opening up, the graph opens down. right? Now, the typical formula for this was always over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. right? But now you're multiplying by 2. That is compressing the graph horizontally. So what we did was we could kind of thought about this as like kind of like your slope in a way. This one, you can kind of think of it like that. So now we go over 1. Instead of going down 1, we're going to go over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2. So the graph should look like that. Okay, I applied my vertical translation. I applied my horizontal translation. I compressed the graph horizontally. And then I replied the reflection. 